Okay, so let's look at this question. A square ABCD is inscribed in the circle with center O as shown in the figure. So the bigger square is ABCD and EFGH is another square which is inscribed in the semicircle with diameter XY. So XY is the diameter XAEFBY is a semicircle and EFGH is a smaller square. Okay, and what we have to do is we have to calculate the area of the shaded region. Okay. So let's say the side of the biggest square is capital A and side of the smaller square is small a. Okay. So area of the shaded region, how can we calculate? Area of the shaded region will be Hg into this length. This length will be same as half of the side of the biggest square. So this becomes A into capital A by 2. This is the area that we have to calculate. So what basically we have to calculate is we have to calculate the sides of these two squares. Okay. Okay. So let's first uh, look at the bigger square ABCD. Okay. So if we join B and D, BD is the diameter of the circle. Right. BD is the diameter. Hence BD is equal to twice of the radius which is 2 centimeter. So BD is equal to 4 centimeter. And BD is also the diagonal of the square ABCD. Right. Now we know diagonal of a square is root 2 times the side of the square, right? So from here we have capital A is equal to 2 into root 2. Okay, so we have calculated capital A is 2 into root 2. <coughs> now let's look at the triangle EHOG, EHO, so not G, EHO. In this triangle, let's join E and O. So EO square. Now this is a right angle triangle right at H. So hypotenuse square is perpendicular square plus base square. So EO which is nothing but radius of the circle is 2. So 2 square which is 4 is equal to EH square which is A square plus HO square. Now HO is A by 2. So A by 2 square is A square by 4. So once you solve this you will have A is equal to 4 by root 5. Okay. Now, so you have calculated capital A and you have calculated small a as well. Now, the area of the shaded region is small a which is 4 by root 5 into capital A by 2. Capital A by 2 will be root 2. So, this comes out to be 4 into root 2 upon root 5. Okay, but uh, there is no option which matches this. So, what we let's do is we have the denominators as 5 and not root 5. So let's multiply this expression with root 5 and divide with root 5. So what you get is 4 into root 10 divided by 5 which is same as option B here. So the correct answer for this question is option B 4 root 10 upon 5. Okay so that's it for this question. Thank you.